and welcome to the final part of uh, Malik's arc here. So probably this is gonna be the start of the end of Malik's arc. Yo Kev, Tom Sweeney is scary rich, family tree obtained and signed but I don't want to leave. Heading to Miami, see you soon. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be the end of Malik's and then I think it's gonna be portraying Marie as the ultimate hero because again I just feel like a lot of games in Hollywood is now pushing the female agenda I mean it's, it's not it's not all that bad don't get me wrong but um, it's just very heavy-handed nowadays you know what I'm saying like I don't know it's, it's, it's just me I'm sorry Malik stay strong Kenya why again not ominous at all I joined the back of the line for the gulag here I go, maybe I get to see Eduardo. Not at all what I pictured for Miami, as a, a sun-drenched party turn, town turned gulag. Well, stranger things have happened. All set for my shift, boss. Another special guest just arrived. He made it too. The gulag will be full soon. That reminds me, I still need a condom to keep track of the prison capacity. Working on it, sir. Looking at the numbers, we will have to consider plans for overcrowding. With both the documents here, our plan can go into action. Expect a wave of new arrests. You're gonna be busy. Sir, reminder, I'm retiring soon. Don't worry, we'll get a re new recruit to take your place. Going to get some fresh mothers, have them enter a little competition. Only the best mother gets to take over from you, number 201. But for now, take the family tree, then lock him up. Then lock him up. Yes, sir. That's not very fair. Making memes, terrorist. <laughs> no shoes. Welcome to your new home, boys. Can we go? We've delivered the documents. Ha! Ha! Fell right into our traps. You ain't going nowhere. Why? We brought everything you asked for. Want to tell them, Andorno? Tell them what? But your biological mother. Don't know who she is. Well, let me do the honors. Alliance President Reyes is your mother. You're her illegitimate child. And you all brought us the proof we need. Now we can blackmail the lines. You use this? Your alliance has all one unification, don't you? Well, we're going to get it. And the mother rule. And you can watch from our new oil rig re-education facility. Re-education? What have you done? Here's the passport and family tree, boss. Excellent work. Hold on. Is this a joke? The family tree. It says, I'm the father? What do you mean? Impossible, unless Alliance President Reyes, could it be the girl from all those years ago? Mampo knew about this. He played right into their hands. What should we do? Call Mampo. Get Tom Sweeney on the line. Sweeney on the line. Ask him what he wants and what it costs us. I should have put. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nah, it's okay. I'm sorry guys, I, I didn't read it. Sorry. Uh, yep, this is the start of Marie's uh, arc here. So, 
Kevin and Malik were not responding. I hate that not no I hate not knowing what's going on. You shouldn't miss the news of Eduardo, a president's son, no less when why had I not heard from Kevin and Malik? If they're not either dead or dying, I'll kill them both myself. My phone and unknown number. Is this Marie? Who's asking? The friends have been captured just like Eduardo. And you're the only one who can get them out. How'd you know? Who the hell is this? I'm Valentin Val Valentina, Valentina Reyes, the president of the Lions. You've probably seen the news, it's true. I'm Peter P. President Johnson when I was young. We spent one night together. I met Peter, President Johnson, when I was young. We spent one night together. I got pregnant. He never knew. Eduardo and your friends got caught up in our problems. But you, you can infiltrate your mothers, climb the ranks, gain their trust, and free Eduardo and your friends. Basically, clean up your mess. It's a delicate situation. My hands are tied. Why should I trust you? This is your fault. If you can't trust me, I know you'll, you'll trust our Seattle confidant. Who? Kenya. She's been watching your friends this whole time. I knew Kenya was up to something. She, I've, stuck, I've struck a deal with the Malfus to help you and your friends. You've all been played. Please. I know you must hate me, but do it for my son, Eduardo, and Kevin, and Malik. Save your cheers. I'll do it for my friends. Thank you, Marie. What a great gal, Marie. Kenya, what the hell? I know there's a lot to take in, so this is another trap. What can I do? I've made arrangements. You'll you take my van and head to LA. An ex monitor runs the oxygen bar. She'll get you the documents you need to cross into the uh, into monitor territory. For the record, I don't trust any of you, but I'll go. Let's go. Trusting people is what got us all into this mess. Travel fast, Marie. I'll also be leaving. I have my own role in this mess. Well, well, well. If it ain't the final piece of the puzzle, Marie. Save the boys. Get border docks. Travel to LA. The reason the rain wasn't the ambience I needed. A good storm would fit the moon. Our 80s aerobic pop. I was always bailing those boys out. Might as well add a Florida prison to the list. Scandal. The Lions and murder ruling bodies were reeling from the scandalous revelations yesterday. In case you live under a rock, the Alliance President Reyes and murder President Johnson share a child. Eduardo Suarez. Who is he and what does he stand for? What are his favorite streaming TV shows? They're excited to learn more. Alliance President Reyes was quick to comment. I'm not ashamed of my son. It was no one's business, she continued. People change. President Johnson was once charming and enjoyed a good frozen margarita. Now he drinks with nationalists. This revelation changes nothing about the alliance and our stance against the martyrs. President Johnson replied only with a gif of a hot dog dancing with sunglasses labeled, deal with it. Okay. Thanks to the alliance president, I, America's final hope for democracy and the savior of our only son, had been graciously provided a clunky van and a hundred bucks. You gain money, one hundred bucks. Guess incognito just meant cheap. Alright, at least I have the wheels. Though 3,300 miles on, ro on foot would be rough. I should give it a name, like those valley girls do to their just dusty jeeps. Welcome, Bertha. Gas to LA, zero dollars. Bertha hobbled uncomfortably, but re reliably along. Man, I am super tired, guys. Oof. Why is she following Malik's route though? A checkpoint. There is no one in line. As I pulled down to the front, an officer waddled out from his post. I wondered if I should load the radio. I turned on the radio. I smiled sweetly at him when he stepped up to my window. Hello sweetheart, you seem a little young to be crossing a border by yourself. Let's see your ID. Here's my bounce ID. Wow, you're sure you're not 18? Haven't been for a while. And where are you headed? Los Angeles. If you're headed to LA, I'm legally obliged to give you this. Oxygen. Mapo. Mapo branded oxygen? Pollution's bad down there. Make sure to take some fresh O2 every day. You wouldn't want to age that small skin of yours. Yikes! Alright. Right then, sweetheart. Take care and keep away from the mother border. Officer Law waved me through a phone call. Hello? Marie, I forgot to mention a very important piece of intel. Of course you did. Check under your seat. 
a maple A grade tracker keeps track of any ma maple A grades you earn, it's, and it's linked to uh, Kevin and Malik. But they're locked up, and they were traveling. They're trying to earn A grades and buy items in the maple home security shop. They have access to all their purchased items and their unspaid unspent A grades. Check the A grade tracker and shop tab. I have only one left. I need. I need three for the final one here. Counter. Oh, what I need home security stuff. I'll see you soon. The phone went dead. Great intel, Kenya. I, dro I drove on, leaving the checkpoint behind. Wonder if Malik or Kevin had to deal with cops talking about their skin. Only Malik. Good luck, Marie. I'll need it. Alliance president uh, contemplating job security after love child reveal. Is Alliance Res president Reyes still in contact with mother president Johnson? How is she dealing with the latest rumors that her ex finally completed the wall at the America Mexico border? How does her Mexican American son feel about this? More, mo most importantly, will a couple's reunion, Brangelina style, save this country? We asked Re Alliance Reyes. We asked Alliance President Reyes about a possible Romeo and Juliet romance. I'm focused on finding my son, she stated. Finally, I arrived at LA. Alright. Robert, no. Okay. Habla Espanol. Okay, VIP handler. Alright. The LA that shown on social media didn't match the place I knew growing up. Seattle was nice, but I missed the dry LA evenings. The elote with extra mayo and mayo and extra chili. A call, President Reyes. I see you've arrived in LA. Good to know you're tracking me. The manager of the oxygen bar has been unreliable since the Eduardo news broke. Basically, we've been ghosted. But be ready to improvise. Whether or not she gives them to you, the documents you need to get across the border are at the oxygen bar. I think I can handle it. Thanks. I understand you're frustrated, but please, be careful. I, the Alliance, no longer has the power Did Keep the people you're sure you can trust. Ha, huh, trust? Like she had room to talk. Maybe she had a p point. I still had family living here. I'll visit them tomorrow. I should check Bouncer. Right. The Oxygen Bar was a slick beachside private club specializing in selling clean oxygen. If you had the money, you didn't have to smog breath for a night. I'm Marie. I've been sent here to book by you know who. No need for research, research Marie. I'm aware that you need to get into military territory. I used to work with these with those chums wouldn't even offer me to pay leave for my Brazilian vaxes. How can a girl live? Anyways, I can get you straight into modern territory. It's a wasteland of intel beyond that though. You'd be on your own. I'll be fine. I prefer to shave. Alright then, tough girl. What's in it for me? This is dangerous work. I already said I can work. I'm a bouncer. Hmm, oh, it'll do for now, Marie. Mary. It's Marie, by the way. Marie. So exotic. Love that for you. Tonight you'll be checking IDs and filling up oxygen. Take the canisters, take the canisters, drop them into the oxygen machine, and fill them to the correct level. Sounds easy enough. And no masks. They're pra they're paying for clean air and good good time, not to wear muzzles. Fine, no masks. I like you, Marie. I like you, Marie. I like you, Marie. I like you, Marie. <laughs> Shit. Let's talk it later. Somewhere more comfortable. I've never had my name pronounced so much. I guess I've been hanging around with the boys too long. Stay focused, Marie. To work. By the way, I'm going to be finishing the two jobs of uh, Marie first, and then I'll move on. <coughs> nah, man. 
no masks. I find it ironic that like all of them had uh, bouncer IDs by the way. Like just so happens everyone works for bouncer. Chimo. Thirty minutes left. Nice. Okay, I prefer this over the musical beats. <clears throat> okay, I think I took pretty long here, so I might change my mind. And stop my recording at this point in time, but uh, <coughs> we'll see how it goes. <coughs> That's a wrap. Oh, you're like so good with people. Thanks. It's harder than well. Here you go, hundred fifty-four bucks. Tomorrow after work, we can discuss our f arrangement further. You help me, I help you. Remember? Should have known. Picking up shifts for her wouldn't be enough. No. Oh, she started at the nails and I took a quick glance around the office. A giant oxygen machine dominated the room. It resembled an aircon unit with shisha style sh sh pipes spiraling out. Her guarding desk was embossed with a bronze eagle. The eagle, had I seen it somewhere? Hello, girl, you in there? No dreaming, daydreaming on the clock. I'll see you tomorrow evening. Why well, I took this O2? Don't want you breathing too much of that stanky LA air. <coughs> Yeah, fresh air. See you. Why is it like flavor? Like, why is it flavored though? After mis meeting Taylor, I thought about what the president said about trust. I headed back to the neighborhood where I grew up, Pasoma. Although working last night didn't leave much time for sleep, takes a toll. I also needed to take some fresh air or two. 
I inhaled Taylor's oxygen. Ich felt like I was inhaling cotton candy. Lose 10 health. There was only one place I wanted to go. The little pink house from my childhood. I went up the old crack steps and knocked on the door. Amma! Marie! Mia! You came to see? I can't. I thought you were going to back to Mexico. Can't. I thought you were going back to Mexico. No, they stopped me at the wall. Everyone's trying to leave too. Come in, come in. Kera comida. No, thank you. I'm not hungry. My Spanish may be bad, but I knew when I was being offered food. Look thin. Eat. She was never one to hold back her thoughts, no matter how ma they made me feel. Amma opened the door and called for a brother, the, el the local elote vendor. What do you like? Extra chili and... Extra mayo. You should stay. It's safe here. I cut him off. I'm working at the oxygen bar now. I am about to leave soon. Oxygen bar? Ay, Dios. Ese oxygeno es puro venemo. What? No mas no respiras. Melon mel melon is strawberry. Te puede donar tu piel. I don't know. I don't speak Spanish, man. Okay, I'll be careful. Crap, she said something about melon and strawberry. Nothing made me feel less Mexican than not understanding my grandma. Roberto danced in the appeared Roberto ap appeared in the doorway, holding an ear corn, doused in chili. You're grown up now, Mia. Here's your fil favorite elote. Yes, Roberto's elote had changed a lot. It made me miss living in LA a little. I overheard you're working at the oxygen bar. As veneno, poison. Look, I don't have any uh, choice, you two. I need documents to get me into the south. I can help. Let me in tonight. I'll see what I can do. It was hard to imagine Roberto bl blending in with those, those uh, stuck-up LA influencers, but I'm sure even they would enjoy his exclusive elote. Yeah, we know there's smog. Masks don't work, stated Oxygen Bar owner Taylor. If they didn't, why would we still be able to smell through things through them? Explain that, scientists. The la smog has become... The LA smog has become an oppressive factor of our daily lives here in the city. Some choose to wear masks, however, many complain that it disrupts their skincare routine. Others incorporate it into their fashion look. I prefer bottled oxygen to wearing a mask, said one LA influencer, famous for her dances on Click Lock. It's like pricey, but so worth it. My fave flavor is Strawberry Supreme. I decay one more. People don't do it. Just save money, lol. She continued to reveal three other flavors, Strawberry Charm, Alpine, Might, Alpine Melt, and Tepid, tepid Asphalt. <laughs> Struggling to read, man. <laughs> Another day, another dollar. Come see me after your shift. We can discuss getting you over that border and loosen you up. Totes needed. If discussed meant overdose on glitter flavored air. Uh, bound to nice job. Check more IDs and distribute more oxygen. Also, there's a VIP list. Straight in for them, but only if they know my name. Okay, Taylor. Right. On my shift, and can get out of here. Right, let's go, people. <laughs>
It's your right to wear a mask, but if, you, if they don't want you to wear a mask, then they have a right to deny you service, sadly. Pandemic, sure, man, but not now. Alright, so this is, this is gonna be the end of the episode because uh, it's to end out the uh, introduction of Marie and her travels. Finished, you're a superstar, Marie. Uh, sure, it's Marie. Uh, here's your pain. Come upstairs, Marie. I'd like to discuss your situation somewhere more comfortable. Taylor led me into her office and relaxed. Large couch holding a shisha pipe connected to the oxygen machine. By the end of the pipe, there was a at the end of the pipe there was a hospital grade oxygen mask. What is this? Got it as a thank you present. It's the best oxygen you'll find. Taylor took a long drag from the mask and offered it to me. Take a hit, Mar Marie, if you want your documents. There were three buttons on the machine. Choose one. Uh, switch labeled airline Alpine. Press the switch labeled Alpine. Blech, it didn't taste right, but my head was still clear. Will I be able to get my paper soon? You'll need more than <gasps> papers to survive that place. The words were starting to slur. What? Taylor passed the mask back to me and waited. It was, an, it was artificial monitor air, but at least my head was still clear. Taylor was in another atmosphere. You young, naive, stupid girl. Those miners will chew you up and spit you out like old tobacco. Even I couldn't stand how they treated me. Taylor passed out. Good. Stay that way. Stay that way, Bruja. Now was my chance to grab my papers. Better hurry. Search the eagle and boss desk. A chilly stained napkin was lying on top. Locked. Where's the key? Check Taylor. Of course, her earrings were actual keys. Received item. Eagle key, spider key. That's super cool, actually. Which one would open the desk? Eagle. Eagle key. Bingo! Murder travel documents. Received item. Border docks. That's enough snooping. I need to get out of here. 
and that's all thank you guys so much for watching this episode of uh not tonight 2 i will see you guys in the next episode see you then bye